I had various options, uh, but my father was in practice and he needed me. And so really to a large extent it was laziness. It was there, I went into it. And dad was in parliament, so half of every day when parliament was sitting, he wasn't in the office. And uh, when I started, before that I used to go to the office and help with the telephone and it was in the days when you had plug-in and I always managed to cut him off and so I had quite good fun there but I got a very very thorough training let me start by saying that in my day and it's as long ago as that there were only 28 women a year who qualified so it was quite a unique profession um, I had a five-year articles, in other words, a five-year traineeship, uh, and during that five years, I had six two periods of six months, which we were allowed off to go to law school, and we had to learn everything in those two six months. But at the end of that five years, you could run a practice. It isn't like now, where you go, you have a law degree, and I don't have a degree. Um, where now they have, uh, they go to two or three seats for the two years that they uh, are trainees, but they don't have the same experience as we had then. And it was very interesting. I have four children. I worked all the way through. Uh, I was allowed three months for each child reluctantly, I mean reluctantly, they gave me that. We lived just outside London and my husband and I used to drive in together. By that I mean he drove. Uh, he got off at his business and then I took the car. So we spent at least an hour, hour and a half together a day. And the important things as far as I was concerned was that first of all, the moment we got home from a very early age, the children joined us for dinner. So we had dinner every night, um, and I really mean an early age, you know. We tried to get them in to dinner when they were about four, if not earlier. And secondly, during the week, obviously, I was so lucky. I had somebody looking after the children who was with my parents when I was born which was my first, biggest bit of luck, and the children adored her and I adored her. So, you know, the important thing is to have somebody with them when you're not there who they trust. And the weekends were the children's. And if I ever wanted to go out in the weekends, uh, all hell let loose. And I gave up all my public work while they were young and picked it up again only uh, when they were more or less not off my hands because they're still not off your hands. You know, children are never off your hands. <laughs> um, and it seems to have worked. I was with my father's firm for about 25 years. I believe it's known as morally bound. And then for various reasons I won't bore you with, we merged and we became a firm where after a few years I became a senior partner but they wouldn't call me senior partner. They would only call me chairman of partners because I was a woman. You see, the trouble is, particularly in the city firms, particularly in certain fields, you have to work late at night. And that is extremely difficult if you're a woman. Or you have to work extremely long hours and it jeopardizes your marriage. Now with men, women seem to put up with this, having husbands who come, go, or what, you know, and, and have to work very long hours. It is difficult for women. There's no question but that it's difficult for them. And unless you're prepared uh, to not necessarily jeopardize your private life, but certainly have it interfered with in a way that's extremely difficult, and this has happened over the last, what, 15 years? It's tough for them. Much, much tougher than it was for me.